Hello everyone, it's Maria here from Peppley Rose Paper Crafting. Uh, today I'm going to be going rogue. As you are all aware, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, but um, lately I have been feeling really creatively stagnant. And when that happens, I either stop crafting altogether, or in order for me to get back to my, you know, having some creative juices flowing, I look to other products as well. So I'm not going to sit here and preach that I stick with Sony Stampin' Up! because that's not true. You've seen many of my videos where I use a variety of different kind of um, products. So last year, late last year, um, when I had actually stopped being a demonstrator, I found these gorgeous um, photopolymer stamps from Photoplay called Kringle & Co. Um, and this is the... Ho 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 stamps number one and this is the North Pole stamps number two. Uh, these are so cute and I'm obsessed with gnomes and I love, love gnomes. So um, I bought these two stamp sets along with their matching dies and I thought that they had retired but they, apparently they're still around. So if you're interested in purchasing any of these uh, stamp sets and dies, you can look to your local craft store or from somewhere online um, as a demonstrator for Stampin' Up! as I'm currently a demonstrator I can't give you links to other um, stores so my apologies for that but please do look out for these because these are really cute <laughs> they're so adorable they've been around for a while so I'm using these stamp sets and the matching dies so I'm going to be using this gorgeous little Santa gnome I love this gnome it isn't it cute and I'm going to be using these um, snowflakes as well and that one up there too and I'm using their matching dies not every image has a die but most of them do actually except for that Santa baby everything else has a die so isn't that just the coolest I love that and the same goes with this stamp as well um, they have the matching dies too I'm actually going to be using the North Pole um, stamp there that's really cute and that comes with the matching die Stampin' Up! wise, um, the things that I'll be using are the rectangle stitch dies. I'll probably be using the largest die. And the I'm also using the Lawn Fawn Stitched Hillside Borders. These are great. I bought these several years ago and they've been a staple and I love them. They're so beautiful. I love these. I love non-Stampin' Up! things too. So if you would like to me to continue making videos with non-Stampin' Up! stuff, let me know and I'll be more than happy to produce those because I need to branch out too sometimes. <laughs> All right, so um, I've got a thick Whisper White cardstock here and, um, and I cut it down the middle like lengthwise. So this is at 10 and a half centimetres if you're interested in the Australian ones. Otherwise, just do that for your own um, ones as well. And I've just uh, folded it in half, scored and burnished in half. And then I've got two just whisper white plain pieces of cardstock. Um, one of them, what I'm going to do with that is ink blend. And I'm going to grab my craft sheet from Ranger. I love this non-stick craft sheet. It is the best for me. <laughs> you can use your glass ones if you have glass, whatever you have. I am aware of other products around so they're, they're, this is pretty cool. I love this one because it's easy for me to store. So the ink pads I'm using today for this are um, Night of Navy, Pacific Point and Balmy Blue. So I'm just going to ink blend from the bottom up. Uh, not right from the bottom, I'll start from here. Alright, so start ink blending with my makeup brush or blending brush, whatever you've got on hand.
finished doing all of that, what I'm going to grab is um, my stamp apparatus. You can use whatever stamping platform you like. I really love, uh, truly, I really love the stamp apparatus. I think it's a great size. It's seven by seven, so it's not too big, not too small. It's a really good size, and I love that it's got open sides. So I'm just going to grab a spare piece of some Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to get that North Pole stamp and the North Pole sign stamp. Stamp that up there. And I'm also going to get the Santa from this one, the Santa Gnome. So cute. And I love how it's got like a Scandi feel to it. It is adorable. I just love it. I'm going to use some basic grey ink for those. And I'll just go over it again. Oh, I double stamped that. Turn it over, start again. <laughs> I'll do that now. I didn't have it right in the corner, silly me. So I'll do it again. I think that will do. <laughs> I'm not going to go over it again. I'll leave it in here just in case I want to go over it again after I've coloured with it. So I'll leave it in my Stamparatus actually. And then what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to stamp it with my Faber-Castell watercolour pencils. I love these pencils as you are aware. So uh, to start off with... I'll use various colors um, <clears throat> take your pick on these um, I've got my scratch pen here and I've got my Copic marker I love ink blending with these so I'm going to grab a kind of like a real red color from Stampin Up and I'm just going to do an overall color
finish now colouring this really cute uh, Santa and Oops and the North Pole sign. So what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to cut those out with my die cutting machine. So I'll just grab the matching dies. I love how all these images have matching dies so don't have to muck around. So that's that one. And I don't want to lose these so I better put these back immediately. And then I have these dies here. And I'll just secure those down with some painter's tape. So I'll just bring them close to me to ensure that they are very close. And they cut properly. Okay. That's that one. And we've got this one. Okay. And along with this as well, I'm going to be cutting out um, a stitched hillside here. So I'll just grab this one from Lawn Fawn. And I quite like this one. So I'm going to cut out about that much. So I'll just bring some painter's tape for that as well. cut out this hillside. This will be cute. So I'll just grab now my stamp my die cutting machine. So now I've just finished cutting that, that away and let's have a look and see how this all turned out and I really love the stitching um, detail. So that's that, isn't that cool, I love that. Then we have our images so I'll make sure I carefully peel that because I don't want to get rid of all that colouring that I've just did. Look how cool that turned out. Cute. And that's the North Pole sign. Awesome. Oh yeah and whilst I'm at this too I'm going to grab the largest rectangle that I have. So that's this over here. Look at that, isn't that beautiful with the stitching right round it? And at the same time, I'm going to get the stitched hillside there. And I'm going to die cut that as well with this die. Make sure it's nice and straight. And this will allow me then to be able to stick that on top as a snow side. Even though we don't have snow in Australia, I still love our stamps and you know images with snow in them. I think they're beautiful. And I personally wouldn't mind going on a holiday somewhere and seeing snow. That would be one of my bucket list things to do before I pass away. That'll be fun. Okay. 
So now we've cut that hillside and this will go on here. This is so cute. It's so adorable. I love that. And then I'm going to add my North Pole sign there. And where is my Santa? my Santa and he will probably go on here and we'll have that North Pole sign going there this is so cute I love creating with um, different kinds of things it's really getting my creative juices flowing love it okay now with this stamp set here this comes with cute little snowflakes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss some snowflakes um, I'm going to leave the Santa as is. I'm not going to stamp over the top of them again. So I'll just remove these stamps from here. And I'm going to um, grab my snowflakes. So I'll grab this snowflake and this other little one up here. Super cute. Okay. And what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to align them here and I put them in my Stamparatus and I'm going to use my embossing buddy over the top of that and then I'm just going to stamp the snowflakes all over the background how cute so quickly do that all right so I'll just ink that up now with um, my Versamark. doesn't have to be all over just enough to make the background a little interesting so what I'm going to do off camera is heat emboss these gorgeous snowflakes and I shall be back so I've just finished heat embossing the snowflakes and didn't they turn out beautiful I love the way this turned out so what I'm going to do now is just bring all of my bits and pieces together so I've got our card base here and this goes on top and I like that there's quite a big border around it so I'm going to leave it. We have here the hill which we're going to stick down with some glue. We're going to leave the top of the hill not overly stuck down so we're just going to leave it a little bit open there just in case we want to tuck something in there but we're keeping it very very simple. So I've just moved the card base to the side, but that will just give you an idea. I'm going to stick this hillside down here. And this looks so adorable. I love it. Okay. And now we've got our North Pole sign. That's going to go over here. And maybe I'll stick it down a little further. So that's not impeding on that hillside. So let's grab some glue there and we'll stick this North Pole sign down with some glue. And then for the Santa, I'm going to stick him up on some dimensionals. So now stuck down. Put 
that away. And now we're going to stick the Santa right here. Let's stick him a bit further down. And down here. This turned out so cute. It's so cute. I love it. Look at that. So I'm going to stick this panel down. I'm going to leave it very, very simple. Just get some glue going. So make sure it's in the middle there. And there you have it guys. I hope you liked today's tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Just leave a comment below and I will answer you within 24 hours. If you like my Going Rogue series, please don't hesitate to let me know that as well. And if you'd like to see you know, me craft in different ways, um, that would be awesome if you'd let me know that and if it's something you would enjoy. I, I have to say I really enjoyed um, making this card today. It really got my creative juices flowing. Thanks, guys, for watching. I love the Gnome Santa. So cute. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.